This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. You got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Oh, nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. Oh. The diner looks exactly the same. She looks busy and stressed. Let me speak to Hi. Her. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but... I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. I don't know how far are it is. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Old guy. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his life. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep, got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I'm so evil, because if he won, I would have just went back in time snatched that ticket. <laughs> I swear to God. Running late, grab a boot for the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it by new one. I'm not waiting four hours, I'm going back to school. Save our city, what's going on? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, save our bay, and the man made rot in the bay. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. I'll say your own boat, because I don't know if he did good. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Damn. The Prescotts. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Really? I'll talk later. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I'm still... I'm still, like... It's weird that the dad texted me. Cause why? Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, hello, Cop. sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I'm not lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers at a time? Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. Joyce, Chloe, David, I have to go. Let me see if you know David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. Let me not talk just too much curious. about it. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. That's fair. Yeah, I have to go. I don't really I have the conversation. Now. I just want to kind of see what she's going to say. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. What's going I on? I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, 
is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Trucker, trucker. So I guess talking to each person here gives me kind of like a a background of the city. All right, let me walk around a little bit. Let me see. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Flush before pissing on the floor. I gum to misbehave. Rachel Amber owes me a blowjob. So does your mom. Gross. Jesus. Fire walk with me? Let me take a picture. Take a picture. Ain't no wrong. We'll take a little flit. A little flit. Oh, these are the collectibles. Okay. Arcadia G sucks deck. Thank you, redneck poet. All right, let me start from here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Don't you see these? Don't you see these? All right, let me speak to the lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Is she Canadian? I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Hey, don't take it down on me. Now let me mourn over my It's a band. Ends. Who's a band? What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me. Oh, firewalk. Let oh, me okay. suffer quietly. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. You're rude. Hey, Max is saying straight up. so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? I'm not mad at that. I did walk up to him. I'm walking up to these people. That's on me. Let me take this booth. I'm not mad at that. He had a right to be upset. Mama got a little walk to her. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm Joyce. sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good like influence the in like her Joyce. life now. Because she let him happen. Be. She said he could... No. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel... Bad I didn't call. Tell her about the surveillance. Now my folks well, are I can't in tell Seattle her. and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I don't know if Chloe understands. I'll just say she has Chloe changed. Chloe must up. have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. With, I mean, with understandable what? reason. What did Chloe tell you? 
I said that David hit her though. Let me emphasize it again. That's your well, daughter. Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not no, fair. No, he paid no, his dues in a no, war. He no. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. No, he don't. Ooh, can I be messy? I get it. No excuse to hit her. He cares about Kate Marsh. Because the thing is with Joyce, I'm still just an 18-year-old kid, and I'm very big on respecting elders. It's no excuse to hit Chloe. That's not their business. So let me introduce another topic. He cares about Kate Marsh. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I can tell. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? A bacon omelet or a Belgian waffle? Let me get a bacon omelet. I was let's dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Ooh, let me get that bacon omelet. Wait a minute. These prices are not that bad. It was cheaper before. Bacon omelet for the young lady, Stap. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. Let me, take, let me take a drink of coffee. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Alright, so. Can I get see. some beer and bacon? There are graffiti. Warren must have been here. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. What, what kind of dive is this? We just don't got beer, bro. Just get your breakfast and go. Why you need beer this early? Is the bacon omelet done already? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh... Mm, speak of the devil. Always oh, here. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless well, you idea. set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon. Why well, I gotta call my stepfather David? You well, I ain't gonna call him dad either. Same. David is appropriate. Another is reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Okay, yeah, let's show proof. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't even know. Like what? What? Keys, tuba glitter, chewing. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Okay, this, this, I'm, I'm pulling this on my ass. A bullet, a razor blade, or a skull. I feel like it's either between a razor blade or a skull. I feel like skull. Let me go with a razor blade. 
You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so... Wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. And that's fine. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Wait, hold up. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. I forgot to even look at it. Band of bear, cigarettes. How many coins? What, what is this? Five cents? So that's 75, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 86 cents. A warning ticket. Alright, bet. Go fast! This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. You got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. I was right. Oh my god. Amazing. Something else in my pocket. They told me to be that specific for some cigarettes? Money. I counted the money. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You got 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Now the keys. Your car keys. Duh. Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It was a panda bear. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. You're about what to be else? mad. I'm about to be mad. What do you mean, parking ticket? A parking ticket. I know I'm about to be mad because I don't remember. Well. But what is the exact time I was busted? <laughs> I don't know the time. <sighs> Shit. Um, what are you doing at 6:42 a.m.? 11:10 a.m. 10:30. I feel like it's 10:34. I feel like I saw 34. 10:34 a.m. I didn't like how she answered. Oh yeah, that. Max can tell time. Oh okay. Woo! I did it. I did it. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Sure, I want an omelet now. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Okay, what are we predicting? What are we doing? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Song this is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? All right, that was everything. Wow, you did it. I knew it. I knew it. I did it. It was a big guess, but I did it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, so what am I going to say? Uh... Tucker drops his mug, Trevor drops his glass, Joyce drops her plate, Cop drops his glass. Is the yeah, the trucker drops something. Yeah, trucker. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Alright. Uh alert on cop radio. The cop didn't leave though. And he eats a donut, no, and he answers. 
and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Okay. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight. Joyce beats them. Joyce stops them. And Joyce doesn't care. And Joyce, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are right. fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Right. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox go crazy as a cockroach. Cro what? <laughs> Fly the heads out of butterfly. The trucker plays a new song. Did the trucker play it? I would say trucker plays a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. One. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it was a roach. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other. I was three for four. I was three for four. I didn't even realize I was a roach. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict. Okay, trucker drops his mug. The trucker. So what happens next? Uh, partner leaves. The what? Uh, Joy stops them. Just. Uh, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, man. Skip. Oh, it's a different scene. Okay. Scene. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to I don't play. like Chloe's enthusiasm. I don't have time. I don't like it. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Oh, shoot. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then she can't use let's her go to one of my secret much. lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. With that, that concludes our video for today. Thank you everyone that came out to watch this video. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and you can follow my social media handles um, in the description down below at HRP Live. I appreciate everyone that came out to watch the video. Um, Y'all have a great rest of your day, night, after dark evening, all that. And y'all stay blessed. HRP Live out.